Sharath Kumar won his first Olympics medal in high jump at the Tokyo Paralympics in 2020. A highlight of his sporting career. He credits this success to his Ukrainian coach, Evgeny Nikitin, with whom he trained for four years. Uh, I went to Ukraine because I wanted to train with this particular coach. We have been in touch for a while. And that's when I realized that he knew more about my body than anybody else. Ukraine is a place where nobody knows English. And so coach was the only person whom I could communicate. So when we were in the ground, it was my happiest hour because we could talk, we could do, like we can understand the feelings. And even his kids were not staying with him. So I became his child. Diagnosed with polio at the age of two, Sharath devoted himself to excelling in high jump. He has several accolades and medals under his belt. He is currently training in Delhi, but that wasn't his original plan. He was due to leave for Ukraine in May to train with his coach in the city of Kharkiv. That plan was dashed with Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Soon after the attack began, Nikitin's home in the city of Kharkiv was bombed. August. He had to move into an underground bunker with his family. Sharath keeps in regular contact with him when the lines are working. Ukraine in well, begin uh, 24 February. Uh, every paper is shook. Yes. I am not believe. I'm... I not believe. Impossible. This is impossible. In every hour, the sound. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Coach, are, are you afraid? Afraid, yes. Every time, every uh, sentence I uh, hope, I think, uh, finish attack. When he has Sharad's attachment to his coach system. goes beyond sport. He calls him family, uh, a father figure. We started chilling together, we started training together. We went for like relaxing sessions and all together. We started understanding, talking about family, maturity, marriages and everything. In the last four years, all the medals I have given with him, uh, two World Championship medals, Asian Games gold medal, now Paralympics Tokyo medal. So, we have lived up to the expectations. So it is just a sign that, you know, our partnership worked. And the, it only worked because the relationship was very nice. Sharad is currently training for the Asian Games to be held later this year. But he misses his coach and fears for his life. What Sharad would like most is to bring Nikitin to India, to safety and away from the conflict.